Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back once again to the Fat Cat Collection. Today, another fragrance reviews for men. Uh, we're going to be talking about another Davidoff fragrance. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that I absolutely love collecting fragrances. It's right up there with watches and cowboy boots. Um, it, there's no, something just really fun about uh, getting a new scent, smelling it, wearing it, and, uh, you know, just seeing how it reacts on your skin and just getting, you know, just a, a different vibe. You can really kind of change your whole outfit based on the fragrance you're wearing. And so this is one by the house of Davidoff. Uh, and this is another, uh, another, <laughs> another really inexpensive fragrance. This is called Hot Water. Now, believe it or not, there are some guys reviewing this on YouTube. And for as long as this has been out, uh, surprisingly, I couldn't really find any reviews that really um, gave me what I was looking for. I was really hoping Red Elessence would have reviewed this, and I'm hoping maybe he will at some point. It's really a no-brainer. It's such a, a cheap, blind, safe blind buy. I think anybody could buy this and really be pretty happy with it. So, uh, again, when I do my reviews, they're not over the top. You know, I don't you know have any kind of amazing uh, skill set when it comes to really picking apart a fragrance. But one thing I will tell you is I just got this in the mail today and I like to come back to a fragrance and rear view it down the road because my initial, I guess my initial interpretation or my initial uh, thoughts on a fragrance always change uh, as I've worn it more. A lot of times I find that, you know, when you're inside your house and you're used to your own smells and with me, all the different fragrances I do have, um, it's hard sometimes to get a new fragrance and spray inside. Uh, a lot of times what I like to do is actually get it right from the mail truck, open it outside, and apply it outside where I have a nice fresh nose to really get an idea of what it's going to smell like. Pretty quickly when you spray fragrance inside the house, it kind of fills the room, no matter, even a cheap, inexpensive fragrance, um, and it's really difficult to really kind of get an honest uh, opinion. Now, um, I will tell you that this fragrance is not going to be one if you are a frag head like myself and you have uh, smelled a lot of different fragrances and owned a lot of different fragrances. I don't think this is one you're going to unbox and say, ooh, man, I wasn't expecting that. I think this is pretty much a pretty generic fragrance. Uh, now, Davidoff Cool Water is a, is a timeless classic, and I think that Cool water uh, really kind of blows this out of the water. They're totally different scents. Um, I don't think the two are related at all. I don't think that, uh, for me, I don't get like that Davidoff cool water DNA. I think it was just doing something uh, opposite. You know, bright, flashy red bottle uh, to indicate more of a warm fragrance, right? Uh, a less aquatic. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys, again, with my skill set, I, I can't really pinpoint all these different notes, but I'm going to give you my first unboxing impression. So uh, right off for Grantka, they consider this a warm, amber, fresh, spicy uh, fragrance. Now they do list other different accords. I like to pick the top three when I describe a fragrance because ultimately you can't have a warm, spicy, amber, fresh, spicy, aromatic, fresh, patchouli, balsamic, woody, green fragrance. Th that's too many. You have to pick the top three and mainly the number one that this is a warm, spicy fragrance. Um, and I'm going to give you guys the note breakdown and again, uh, just tell you what I personally smell. So in the top notes you have wormwood and basil. In your middle notes, you have paprika and patchouli. And in your base notes, you have styrax and benzoin. Uh, now, two of which I really can't, you know, if I smell a fragrance with those notes, I'm never going to be able to point that out. And I think a lot of times when guys review fragrances, uh, there are guys out there who have the skill set and the talent to really be able to pinpoint uh, different notes by training their nose uh, individually. I think Jeremy Fragrance uh, does that where he'll actually... Uh, refreshes nose to individual notes so he's familiar with those notes before he has them all blobbed together uh, in a fragrance right now me again I'm not a professional fragrance review by any means but I do enjoy collecting and I'm gonna give you guys my my initial interpretation one what I love about this is the bottles fantastic I mean it's a great looking bottle it's a great presentation as with other Davidoff fragrances, the sprayer is just a fire hose. It's a heavy, just blast. Uh, some fragrances, you know, you have very, it's a very light touch. This is heavy. Uh, three sprays on this really, to me, is equivalent to maybe six or seven on uh, other um, sprayers that aren't quite as, as, as um, I guess, powerful, right? Um, when I first sprayed this, I got to tell you, part of me, there's a little bit of a disappointment because although this smells great, I don't have any real uh, complaints with it, but I'll tell you that it to me, it's from, I think if you smelled a lot of fragrances, to me, this smells very generic. 
Um, I'm not getting anything that really stands out. I'm not getting anything that I haven't smelled before. Uh, when I smelled this, I said, all right, well, I probably have uh, something that smells very similar. And first thing came to mind was one of my newer ones, Guess um, Seduction Blue, I think it's called, uh, which is supposed to sort of smell like Lanoite de Lome. Now, I don't get Lanoite de Lome in this at all. Uh, and let me just give you guys what um, other people have compared this to. Uh, people have compared this to, I'm not going to say this correctly at all, Xerus. X-E-R-Y-U-S, not sure how you say it, Roche by Javinci. Uh, other people have compared this to uh, Azaro Poor Home Elixir Azaro. Uh, there's a, a different variation of Hot Night, Hot Water Night. There's a Yope. Uh, other, one person has said that, there's seven people have said this uh, smells like Lanoite de Lome, uh, which is the Lanoite de Lome, Lome. And then, uh, and then of course, Lanoite de Lome. And then Ferragamo F Black. I don't get the comparison with Ferragamo F Black. I think Ferragamo F Black uh, is a much better scent than this. Um, but I, I kind of get the comparison. It does have kind of a, I don't want to say a Lome uh, scent. I think it does kind of have something similar to like a Lanoite de Lome kind of vibe. And I'm not sure if that's just maybe a couple notes. That might be, you know, a lot of times when we, when we think of fragrances and we review fragrances, Sometimes if a fragrance has something that's peppery or it's considered a warm spicy, people will make that uh, comparison with anything that's spicy, right? I mean, you, you might say that Spice Bomb, uh, One Million, they're all spicy fragrances, Ferragamo, Lanoite de Lome. You might just lump those all in with, oh, it's spicy, so it smells like this. To me, my if I'm being honest, my first impression was, wow, this does kind of remind me of guest seduction, which kind of makes sense now that I read what other people have said or other people have compared this to or what, what perfumes this reminds them of uh, because I have Ferragamo F Black, I have um, Lanoite de Lome, and I'll tell you that this, you know, and I have guest seduction blue, which they say guest seduction blue smells like Lanoite de Lome, which I get the comparison, absolutely, but it's no comparison to Lanoite de Lome. Lanoite de Lome is, is just above and beyond those two. But I will say that for $21 shipped, um, it's a pretty nice fragrance. It's one that I'll definitely wear, but it's not one that I'm really going to say, oh man, I got to wear that because it's so unique. Now in time, uh, that might change. There, there might be a moment where, um, you know, I, I come back to this and, and smell something, to something totally different a couple days later. You know, I'll try reapplying this and, re and wearing it and seeing if I get any kind of other vibe. Uh, but as of right now, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. When I compare uh, Ferragamo to this, Ferragamo just has a, a totally different vibe, and I like it a lot more. There's something like a fresh, just intoxicating kind of vibe I get from Ferragamo F Black that I don't get with this. Just I just get a, a kind of a warm, spicy, um, just safe scent, something that I've smelled before by many other brands. So nothing really setting this apart. I don't think, again, uh, part of my enjoyment with getting a fragrance is to getting something cracking that bottle open spraying it and saying "Ooh, this is different than anything i else i have but to me i'm really just getting just a generic fragrance that i've smelled time and time again um and there's a couple other comparisons but again um the Givenchy Xerus Rouge, if I'm totally butchering that, uh, is what they compare this to. Probably because, of again, the spicy notes. The notes aren't really the same. But if we compare that fragrance to see what other people have said about that fragrance, they've compared that fragrance to... Let's see what other people have said about that particular fragrance. Oh, where is it? I'm trying to find it here. People have said that, yeah, again, hot water. Uh, what is this one here? Again, Elixir, uh, Azaro Elixir, Poor Home. Uh, this one here is Novella Estoil. A couple of Yopes. Uh, yeah, not not a lot of ones that I've actually smelled. I've smelled Yope before, and I, I don't get the comparison there either. Um, that has like a much more, to me, like a more fruitier kind of note. But let me just grab the... Um, the box here because I did spray the hell out of the box. See, even on off skin, it's different. You know what I mean? Like I can't really even smell that on me, but in the box, yeah, I, I definitely have something else that's, again, I'm not sure if it's, if it's, um, 
exactly the guest fragrance, but there is definitely, I'm just going to hit myself again with this since I got you guys here. So if I could figure out how to spray it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a good, don't get me wrong, if you're, if you're looking for, it, it's not like a cheap fragrance, you know what I mean? It's not something you're going to get and say, oh man, this smells terrible or it's going to be off-putting. You know, some people are more sensitive to fragrances and some people are like, oh, it's cloying, I couldn't wear it anymore. Uh, there's not many fragrances that I've personally smelled that I, I have that reaction to. Um, there really not many at all. But again, nothing really that makes this stand out to me that's over the top super unique. It just smells like another... Um, spicy safe fragrance so uh that's it guys that's the best way i can describe this it's something that um I, i'll i'll be honest with you um because and again my opinion may change but to me if you have i have about 100 and i don't know maybe 150 full bottles and then maybe another 150 more samples i'm not sure how many fragrances i actually have but i've had my nose on a lot and i, I just feel like with this, it definitely has the vibe of like a red fragrance, of course. And I don't know what it is about, you know, I've said before in other videos that when you see a red bottle, is it that your mind is associating other red fragrances because of the red and you're saying, oh, this is red, but if that made any sense at all. But to me, it doesn't surprise me when I smell this that it, you know, it is in a red bottle. Um, it just smells like a lot of other red fragrances why that is i don't know probably the the spiciness i think a lot of times when we have spicier fragrances they do tend to put them uh in some red bottles but i just don't get i kind of like honestly just and and don't take this like again this isn't meant to be a full you know a full comparison like this smells like this but you know i kind of get polo red a teeny bit there's a slight comparison there but they don't list that and nobody said that this smells like it but I encourage you, I mean, honestly, if you, if you don't have a lot of fragrances in your collection and uh, you're, you're just starting out collecting and you don't have a lot of uh, spicy fragrances, it's definitely different than like 1 million, totally different, definitely different than Spice Bomb. You're not going to smell to be like, oh, it's a clone of Spice Bomb. Uh, but I think that if you have Lanoite the Loam in your collection or anything that smells like that, you, you might want to get something different because this is going to be a little bit redundant. Again, it doesn't smell like Lenoui Delon, but you get a similar vibe with this. And I think that um, having as many fragrances as I have, um, had I known that this is what I was going to get with this, I probably would have went with something else. Um, you know, and, and that's kind of the way it goes when you have a lot of different fragrances you know, um, things start to smell similar and you get similar vibes because, you know, when we have when we have a lot of fragrances, all these things dry down and change as you wear them for the most part. So when you have something that starts to lose some of its potency and different notes start to fade, you start to have fragrances that really start to become a lot more like one another. So I don't know. I think that I think that there's other choices for $20. Uh, again, not a bad fragrance by any means. It's definitely safe if you're looking for a nice you know, fall, and I, I've said before, you can wear fragrances whenever you want, but it definitely leans towards fall and colder weather. I think if you're looking for something spicy and, and, and kind of warm, um, they say it's ambery as well. I don't really get a lot of amber. You know, when I think of amber, I think of things like, you know, uh, Armani Code Parfumo. Um, you know, that is a heavy amber scent. I don't know. I, I, I you know, again, I, I think for $21, it's, it's a great value, but if you have other fragrances in your collection, a lot of fragrances, if you have a pretty big collection, chances are you probably have something that smells extremely similar to this, so I probably wouldn't waste your money on it. So anyway, that's my interpretation of it. I'll still wear it and continue to try it out, um, you know, but a little disappointing. I was hoping for something. Uh, when I read it, what other people would say about it, about the pimento note, was pimento? Sorry, the paprika note. Uh, being really in the wormwood, being really apparent. I don't know. I think a lot of times when guys review stuff, they're looking at the notes and they're saying, oh, yeah, and they, they almost convince themselves that they're smelling it. But I don't think if you, like, I honestly don't think that if I, if I smell this just by itself, I would probably get the basil and, and, and the paprika note, you know, because paprika is kind of spicy. So I get that spice and I'll get that basil note. But that's about it, guys. Very difficult for me to review. A little disappointing, uh, but not in a bad way, again. Uh, but I, I would encourage you to, um, you know, check out some of the other videos what other fragrance influencers had to say. 
and uh, see what see what their take is. Ultimately, if you buy it, you're not going to be disappointed with it. It's very safe, very easy to wear. It's just not going to be really over the top and too different. And that is subjective. You know, you may get this and say something totally different. So it really comes down to the wear. I've bought I've purchased fragrances before that people were like, "Yep, it's nothing to write home about. It smells like everything else." And I get it. And I was like, "Wow, what were they talking about? This is amazing." I think though, honestly, if you're if you're looking at a red fragrance. Um, I probably lean more towards one of my new favorites, Guest Seduction Red. It just, it's it's a red fragrance, but it's really, I mean, it's been my go-to lately. It's something warm, creamy, vanilla about it. Um, it is quite amazing. So I definitely would check that one out too if you're in the market for a red fragrance. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you do like the content, subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know your take on this if you have a take on this. And have a fantastic weekend. Take care.